Good morning, everyone. We just got in the boat here. James is here. Now, uh, yesterday I left. Now, you know, no, let's try to catch live bait this morning. Bean goes, I'll leave you a block of chum out. He leaves a block of chum out last night. But look how solid it is. It's frozen solid, Bean. That's frozen solid. Come on. So, I mean, at 8.43 last night, I texted him. Did you leave chum out and get some lunch meat out of there? He said yes. At 8.43 p.m., right there, you can see it. That chum was not left out at 8.43 p.m. That chum was left out. It's 5.54 a.m., probably at 5.30 a.m. So, nice try, Bean. Nice try. That's a pretty day today, huh, Kenny? Huh? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here we go. Well, I love these days. We got an epic sunrise going on today, you guys. It's slick calm. We got Jimmy. We got Heather and we got Kenny. We're heading offshore. What a beautiful day. This is what you get up for, right? Yeah, that one there is beautiful, so here we go. All right, we couldn't find any live bait. That's fish, you know, it changes day to day. Every day is different. So, no bait to mess with any tunas, but we're gonna try to catch a queen snapper, see if Jimmy gets his first queen snapper. So if you want, go all the way down the bottom of that thing, lock that reel up. If you get a bite, we're gonna turn it on, try to hook him. We're setting up the swordfish. We gotta eat the banana, try to change our luck. We got no fish, we got no bait fish and no bottom fish. Hold we get a swordfish. Alright, we just hooked up, but the drop before that, we just snagged our line and broke off right here. That's swordfish, you know. When you lose a rig like that, two buoy marks, a wind on leader, the sink of the line, if you went and bought that yourself, three to four hundred dollars gone. Four hundred dollars with that light on there, gone. Instantly. That's why we charge a lot to get sword fishing. But we're gonna clear this other rod back here, start getting it in. And uh, Jim's hooked up up here right now, so let's see what happens. This could be us. So we'll see what happens. You know, 1555, triple nickel right there. Lucky number, 1554 now. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Put it on four. Back it off the four. Here he comes. He's gonna come up and jump. There he is. See him flashing, Jimmy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, keep coming. What do I do with the weight? Let it keep coming. Let it keep coming. That goes right down, Jimmy. It's a slider. Uh, he's gonna jump. You taking line, Jim? No, I'm bringing it in now. Let's go a little bit faster. He's coming at you. And then once it gets tight, then he's pulling back down. Okay, you gotta slow down a little bit. Yeah. He's close. Not that small, dude. That's a pretty good size. Yeah, he's bigger than I realized. <laughs> Like a hundred pounds. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> he sees the boat, he runs. So you can use your hand on it, Jimmy, add a little extra pressure. Got him. Yeah. You got him. He's in good. Oh, yeah. We got one guy. <laughs> right in the corner. He was just you turn the reel off. He was just it. going nuts. He was freaking out. We got dinner, guys. We got one. Nice, nice man. job. Nice. There you go. Jimmy's down here. They got a snowstorm coming in about what a day or two? <laughs> yeah. He's down here in Florida. It's beautiful. Now Kenny's been out with us a lot. And uh they work together, Heather and Jimmy. Kenny, how many times have you been sword fishing? With you, nine. Nine times these sword fish together. We've always caught at least one. So Kenny is good luck. You guys might remember him from the summer's video. So, and Kenny brought barbecue, so I can't wait to eat that. Here we go. I told him I'd trade him swordfish or barbecue. There you go. Oh, he is. I think he is orange. Put the top of his head. Is it a pumpkin? It might be. He's got some color. We just got a pumpkin, Jimmy. We just got a pumpkin. Yes. We just got a pumpkin swordfish, you guys. Where do you taste we don't them? catch a ton of these, but they're known to be more, you know, rich in flavor, a little more fatty and oily, and you yeah. can see the orange. Watch out, watch out, guys. Use that. Look at that, you can see the orange colored meat right there. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. That was a VMC 10 yeah. you guys, right there. It had them good, Benita's trip today. Beautiful fish there, you guys. 
Good job, Jimmy. Thanks. And he's a pumpkin. And he's a pumpkin. Okay, I'm going. We're eating swordfish tonight. Pumpkin swordfish there. Sarah's gonna like that. There you go. Yeah. What you got there? Barbecue. There you go. <laughs> Kenny broke out the barbecue. Oh, that's a nice bread there. And nice and fresh. There you go. Got it late last night. Uh, that's one extra swat. I don't know if you like it. Okay, good. That was good. Yeah. All right, here we go. It's lunchtime. Our day is made. We couldn't catch bait this morning, so we couldn't live bait for tunas. We didn't catch any queen snappers or barrel fish. We missed a bite or two. There's not much current, so that was slow. First drifter swordfish we broke off the line, lost her rig. But the second drifter swordfish came together and we caught a nice one. He's a pumpkin too, you can see the orange meat, so that's exciting. Sadie's gonna like that one. Ruffles. How long does barbecue take to cook? Seven hours totally. Seven hours. Simmering. Coca-Cola in it, or Pepsi-Cola, little sugar, little Ray's barbecue sauce. That's a fresh bread. And fresh bread. There you go. Seven grain bread. There you go. <laughs> so as you can see, Kenny doesn't play. We're eating good. We weren't, we weren't gonna starve today, so. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I'm working on one right here, so we're getting bigger there. That second K Claire there, she put it on me, so like here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Put your finger on it, your thumb on it, whatever. Ready? Yep. Get some bottom fish. We're switching gears to a little deep dropping, trying to catch a few bottom fish. One sword bite all day, got him luckily. This morning deep dropping was slow, but uh, we'll see what happens today, now this afternoon. Oh, really? No? Double, double header. We got two on there. All the way to the right. Double your pleasure, double your right. fun. There you go. These guys will, these guys will swim back down sometimes. There you go, little rosies. Beautiful. Really good. Roses are delicious eating. They're just small. About four pounds, the biggest I've ever caught. One rosy for Heather. Stop it right there. Hey, one rosy is better than no rosy. And he's too small. Shit, <laughs> grab that lead. <laughs> slow down, slow down. You got him out. Just like that. That's your barrel fish. There you go. I think this would be the prettiest one. Uh, I don't be prettiest, but you can be the biggest. There you go. So, you know, James pulled out his sandwich, started eating, and that's, we got a bite. So if you guys are fishing, you're not getting bites, pull out your lunch, start eating. This is his second lunch, actually, because he ate barbecue bathroom. earlier, so. <laughs> Jimmy, don't let her beat you. I know. Get him on there. She's smoking you right now. He's pulling good. Oh, that's indicative of barrel fish. fish. They pull hard, they race the lead up, they pull hard. I hope we get them. We've hit five or six deep drop spots today. Haven't got much here to show for. A couple of little rosies. Three rosies. We need a barrel. Yeah, that towards you is faster. We're gonna get some. Big barrel. Yeah, that's tricky. Big barrel fish coming up. Dog barrel. Look at that. Camera in one hand, sandwich in the other, big barrel. <laughs> Ooh, nice the sandwich barrel. is gone now. <laughs> Stud. Nice barrel. Ready? One, two, three. You got me, 22. 22? We got a special Foster. guest, Foster showed up. <laughs> and Donna came too. It's frosty. There you go. I think it looks like dinner. We want to see how much it weighs and we're going to fillet thick. him. She's thick. There you go. I'm, I think I'm right. 95, right? I said 93. I said 93. I don't know, I can't see over that far. Twist it. Oh, he's over 100. Oh, 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 winner! Oh, oh. I told you, she's 104 thick. pounder. 
I didn't think it was that big. Thought he was about 90, 88, but he was 104. There you go, we got dinner. We're gonna clean this bad boy up, stay tuned. We got lucky, Frost or Frost and those presents. So it's a joy to have around, aren't I? Yeah. It looks like he might be a pumpkin. It looks orange when we see the meat there, so I hope it is, because I told you guys it was, so. Oh, yeah, it's that. a pumpkin, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> we got a pumpkin, Kenny. You might be. It's orange, guys. This is gonna be a good eating fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's orange, all right. We don't get to see these every day. Look at that, holy smokes. Nice to know they're still around though, huh? Oh, there's one less now. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah, look how pretty that looks. How's those tomatoes doing? Yeah. Taking the whole thing? Yeah, I was going to split it, but I want to take the whole thing and get a good picture out of it. You want me to grab them? Yeah, if you, you don't get out of the way. Yeah. We're just letting gravity help us knock this filet off, guys. What is that noise? Ah, the fan there. You might have to catch this thing when it starts coming, all right? Yeah, perfect. You can let go of there. Yeah, try to pull the filet up there. Yeah, get us looking away and crank the filet all over. There's the stomach. Boy, the stomach is full. Kenny, were you feeding this thing? You heard about the barbecue. You joined the party. I, I couldn't oh, take it away from you, pal. I can see some squid tentacles. Here we go. Everybody wants to see this part, Heather. Here we go. Oh, we got calamari. Um, Kenny, do you want some calamari appetizers? No, thank you. Are you sure? That's a big squid right there. Look at that, that one, Kenny. Good to know if I'll calamari again. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he was eating, but they do say that royal red shrimp is a big part of the diet that changes those meat color to uh, orange. But he was eating squid because squid was out there right now. Boy, that's a big squid for him to take. Yeah, it is. How about that one, Kenny? One hand? No! <laughs> All right, we're going to feed the tarpon. They're pretty stinky. From the water back to the water. Yeah, back to the fish down there. Watch the tarpon go. They may not even eat them. We got pumpkin swordfish for dinner. This is the second time we're cooking fish in one day. We're gonna put it in a cast iron pan there. You can see how it's nice and orange there. I mean, usually it's like, obviously it's not white, as white as pepper towel, but you can see how it's got the orange tint. And that's from, you know, what they say is from a heavy diet of shrimp. I used to think it was the iodine in it, but apparently it's like the carotene, maybe the carotenoids that the shrimp get from eating plankton, and they turn, you know, bright red, they're royal red shrimp a lot of times, and then it turns the meat of the swordfish orange. A lot of people say it's more rich in flavor. We haven't had pumpkin swordfish in a while. We're just gonna cut it in half there. We're just gonna trim a little of the bloodline out. The bloodline on swordfish is not as fishy as a lot of fish, so you don't have to do it. Sarah just wants it plain and simple. Some butter olive oil, some big game rub, Sea salt and paprika is the main ingredients. Olive oil and butter in the pan. Here we go. Let's see. Using the cherry gold, got a little bit of olive oil in there as well. See how it turns out. I haven't cooked for this in the cast iron now, ever. So it's been there about five minutes and we're just cooking on like a low medium heat. You don't want to overcook swordfish and dry it out. Trust me, I've done it a lot of times. So I think we're good to flip it now. Let's see. Oh yeah. 
Got some little sear marks in there. Now I can see, you can see where it's cooking up there. You can see the white coming up on the fish there. That means that it's getting cooked there. A few more minutes on that side, it'll be done. We're gonna have juicy pumpkin swordfish. I mean, when Sarah heard that we had a pumpkin swordfish, she was all about it. She wanted to eat it, so. You can't post it until after Christmas. <laughs> Who is this for? This is Adam's Christmas present, but we can't put this video up until after Christmas, so. Are you playing? Hit us with some baby shark. Oh. Gentle. <laughs> Play and sing baby Play shark. Play baby shark. Sing it. Oh, look at that. I didn't break it, I would have been really good. There you go. Nine months? Yeah, you can't have swordfish you when you're pregnant. Well, you're not supposed to because it's really high in mercury. And I really like pumpkin swordfish, it's one of my favorites. So. But I like to put cream cheese on top of it. What are you thinking of salmon? Yeah, it's good. So are you eating swordfish? You are? With the cream cheese on it. Oh, with the cream cheese on it. You like it? Is it good? You like pumpkin swordfish? Very good. A noticeable difference? Yeah. What is it? What is the difference? What tastes yeah. different? It's more it's rich. It's like more buttery, yeah. More buttery, more fat. Excellent. Yeah. Her herpes looks a little bit better. Got a little bit hotter there on the cast iron. Here's my piece. I haven't had pumpkin swordfish in a while. That's just, you know, the color of the meat changes. It turns more orange, but here we go. It is buttery. It kind of just like melts in your mouth. Cream cheese. I've never put cream cheese on it before. You want more, Sadie? What's that? What was that noise? There's a little elf here wrapping presents. Is that a Christmas elf? <laughs> a Christmas elf. It's a mac and cheese girl. She's a Christmas girl now. I'm still trying to talk her into doing a YouTube channel. She's thinking about it. Want to say goodbye? <laughs> say bye. Tell them to smash the like button. <laughs> all right, that's all you guys are getting. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Simple swordfish in the pan there, cast iron, some butter and some olive oil. This is burning over here, but thanks for watching you guys. I don't know if this video is coming out before or after Christmas, but Oh, that looks good there. Look that. Thanks for following along there, being part of our lives. Like I said, come January, we got some uh, big news coming your way. So can't wait to share it with you and uh, have you all be part of it. So we'll see you guys next time. Oh boy, smoking now, but turn down a little bit.